I just decided to make this a second video, part two. Uh, that way you guys don't have to listen to the backstory. I rambled on and on and watched that video. So if you want to know the backstory of this lock, watch part one of this. And you won't see any guts or anything like that, but you'll see, uh, you'll hear what my what my thinking was on this. But uh, I'm just gonna give you a little, um, I'm just gonna give you a little insight on how I got this apart. What I did was is uh, this this rivet or bolt or pin, whatever you want to call it, was visible. So I I I hit the center of it with a center punch, really lightly, because this is really soft material, just to just to mark it so my drill bit would go right down the middle of that. And I drilled it down, and it just has to drill through this top plate. You don't have to drill any farther than that. I drilled a little bit farther, but I didn't really know where I was going. Sorry, I lost focus there. But, uh, come on. But uh, once you do that, let's see if it'll come back now. Once you do that, you can stick a like a screwdriver or just something real thin in there and pry up on that and kind of work your way around until you get to these. These locks were finished so well that these are darn near invisible to the to the naked eye. So when you when you um, torque this just a little bit, just lift up on it just a little bit, and don't bend it or anything like that, but just lift up on it just a little bit, those will start to reveal themselves. You drill out the next one, and you work your way around here, and this one will kind of start to show itself, and you drill it, and so on until you get to the end. So that's, that's how I got it open. It was, and uh, once I got those drilled out, the top just lifted off. So... So uh, let's see what's underneath this thing um, and see what makes it tick. Now it is a six lever lock and I took out some of them to start off with because I tried making another video and it, I just look like a bumbling fool trying to take these levers out. So I'll show you them, but uh, just, just for an example, I, I took some out ahead of time to save some time on the video and to save you guys from watching me trying to work through the viewfinder and stuff. So here it is, um, the six lever uh, padlock big secret reveal and this is it right here and I'm gonna kinda try to turn it towards light so you can kinda see everything this these are your levers here and there's there's six of them there's only three in there now and I'll focus there's only three of them in there now but I'll show you the other three but you can see why it didn't work it's got these springs on them right here these springs need to be underneath this bolt to pull it into the gates when the springs are on the top of the bolt, it really doesn't put any tension on this. And even if you did put a key in, uh, those springs also, sorry, those springs will also push up on the bolt to push it into the gates. So without those springs, it's not really going to do anything. It's totally disabled. And I'm not sure how those springs got bent, if it was like a botched picking job or, or what it was, but oops, I had my flashlight on strobe there. But uh, you can see down in there, there's two problems. Number one, some of those springs were above the bolt, and number two, some of them were bent, like just smashed completely down. And I'm thinking someone stuck something up in here and just tried to force this thing open, um, try to get a key made or something. I'm not sure. It wasn't me, honest to goodness. Uh, I bought it like this. So uh, if, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I know how to pick these if they're if they're perfectly functioning and make keys for them. But man, someone just went, did a number on this, or it might just be old age. I mean, this thing looks pretty worn so it could be old age too but let me show you what the levers look like um because i took three of them out so i'm going to set this down and i'm going to grab these levers and i'm going to show you what what uh i'm going to put this flashlight away and hopefully i can get a focus here but i'll show you the problems um okay let's get a focus nope it's not going to focus Okay, so let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Okay, so you can see the ones with the springs uh, poking out. Those are fine. Those will work, but they were above the bolt. So once again, they were rendered useless. But you can see the one in the middle there, the spring is just smashed down. So it's not going to do anything either way. And they have to be loaded first, which means they have to be bent out like that. So I think if I, even if I tried to bend out that spring, it would probably just snap because A, it's so old and B, it's such a, such a, uh, you know, a, a strong steel might be pretty brittle. So I'm not going to try to do that. I'm just going to use this for uh, a teaching aid. And, um, and hopefully if you see how this works, you want to cut a bunch more of these open. You can know whether or not you're going to get it to work or not. Um, but there's, there's the levers and you can see the little gates and the levers there. Uh, those all got to line up, and that's where the little teeth and the key come in. They'll push those up just to the right height, 
and then the bolt and uh, while pushing up on it it'll lift up the springs will push up on this bolt that'll pull it into the gates and that'll swing sorry I lost focus it'll swing that little uh, it'll swing the bolt out of the out of the shackle there that little notch in the shackle and then that will then allow this spring right here a big old spring to push the shackle up. I was wondering how those shackles just shot up like that, you know, when you push the key and I didn't know what was going on in there. So this is pretty neat. This is a pretty neat little deal. So there it is. That's that's how it works and you, I can manipulate the I can manipulate the uh the levers here and you can see that's where they that's where they line up in the that's where the gates line up and all that kind of stuff. But you can see this part here needs to be pushing up on this part here in order for this to swing in there. So you can see even with the gates lined up on it, see even with that gate lined up on it, it's just not gonna it's not gonna work. You have to have them all lined up. But just for fun here, let me see if I can't stick my pick in here and uh, lift up on all these gates and get those guys lined up. Let's see if I can't push this in. I'm gonna put some tension on it. And let's see if we can unlock this one more time for old time's sake. I got that one lined up. I'm going to look over the viewfinder here. You can't see that. Sorry. There it goes. Now, you can see the... Come on, focus. Sorry. Oh, it, it almost did. Then it said, nope, I'm not going to do it. Let's put some more light on it. Okay, so you can see now, horridly blurryly. There it goes. Now you can see that the the uh, bolt has slid over into the thing. I'm holding it with my finger there. That's the only reason it's up. Normally those springs would push it in. And now it's cleared the, sh the, the notch in the shackle that holds it in. And now the spring... The spring there must be going bad or it needs some lube or something like that because it should just shoot up out of there, but it's not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reach down in there, take my finger, and push up on it. Oh, I can see what happened there. It came out of the slot there. So there you go. It's open. There we go. Now we now that's gonna put some load on it when I go to close it again. So I'm gonna let off of this because I darn near cut off my finger. But now you can see what it looks like in the open position, and you can see um if we can get a focus here, you can see what it looks like in the open position. You can see everything's lined up. All those pins are, or, excuse me, <laughs> all those levers are open, or the gates are open, and it allows that bolt to slide over there. And this spring here is what's pushing that shackle up. And then you got your keyway here, and that's where you, that's what the, the key, how it has those different heights on it. It'll raise those levers up to different heights. To line it up line those gates up so anyway if you have any questions let me know but i think this was pretty thorough and this should this should get you started at least as far as knowing what's going on with these and hopefully you know when you get one of these you won't have to cut it open now to find out if it's going to work or not you'll kind of be able to tell if, if this spring isn't working you might just need to reload it or you might need to get a new spring or something like that so um this is it this is the this is a six lever lock cutaway and i'm i was thinking about fixing this but you know, I don't, I don't think I have the skill level to do it, and maybe someday, if I get better at it, I might try to repair it, but I think for now, I'm just going to use it as a teaching aid, and if anyone has any questions, they can email me, I can send them stills if they want or whatever, or you can, you can watch this and pause it and screenshot it and get stills if you need it, but I'm pretty sure um, the insides on on most of them look like this so I think this is gonna give you a good start anyhow but this is an Excelsior 6 lever and uh, that's what you're looking at so that's how they work and that's you know now you can come up with more ideas to pick them or or know where not to not to work on them and stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot and I hope you don't use this for uh, anything illegal and I hope you use it for a lot of fun and maybe maybe hopefully you can use this info to save one of these someday if you come across one at a yard sale or online or something so um, 
Thanks a lot for watching, and um, uh, have fun picking. Thanks. I don't want to go off the blurry picture. Might have to. All right. Bye, everybody. There we go.